darkness. They fear the man that says, I'm the that wants to be the boss. They fear the black man in America. He's a cop. How you doing, beautiful people? Welcome to my channel. This is King Lot. And today we're going to speak about being an independent, strong black man. Now, there's a lot to cover with that because we have like a whole list of issues and just resistance that's strategically put upon us. And you know, the world outside of us doesn't see it, doesn't believe it, and that's fine. But the purpose for me to make this video is to enlighten my brothers and sisters that come from a specific area that don't necessarily get heard because I understand how a lot of these things go because it's like people will look at you and if you don't you know per se entertain what they entertain like what they like you're not worthy of the attention you understand and it is a lot to cover on this topic especially being a strong black man now I can start with myself I've been through the works you know as I've touched on I've questioned stuff in my life a whole bunch of things didn't make sense and I went on a mission and I have actually found myself and I'm gonna do more finding and as I said there's levels so you know the knowledge never stops you know you're gonna learn a new you in 10 minutes you understand it's just you have to be hungry for the knowledge and for the change you understand and to tap back in to the initial topic of this video the strong black men now I'll tell you, you know, I'm from the East Coast. I'm from New York City. Um, I moved to the West Coast, started a whole new life. You know, I'm doing my thing. Um, you know, I'm traveling, I'm just taking things day by day. And these are things that I used to see back when I was in New York City in the hood, you understand? And. I could tell you there was a lot of times where I was in my project building, you know, entertaining things that I, you know, shouldn't have been entertaining. But at the time, I felt that the circumstance I was in needed for it because I didn't know any better. And there was a lot of things that I wanted out of, and there was a lot of things that I just visioned, just, you know, just being tired of certain things and just having a vision in my mind. And... I can really attest that intent and manifestation is real because there's a lot of my brothers and sisters that, you know, are kind of hip, getting into it, and still, you know, question a lot. And then there's a lot of people that, you know, scroll through YouTube and then, you know, if it's interesting, they might tap into it. And that's, you know, what this is for, for the enlightenment of the people. Because, you know, as a people and as black men, you know, we get treated un fairly and you know so do our sisters and you know I'll cover that in another video but you know as black men you know when you're strong people can sense that energy you may not know that you're giving off that energy so when you go into the workplace or any environment that has you know particularly any other dominant male in there of other races they're gonna sense your energy and, you know, a lot of times it doesn't matter how genuine you are, you know, or how real you keep it, it's never going to be perceived that way. You understand? Because just like how we were conditioned, other races were conditioned. So, you know, you get a lot of resistance. And the first thing people want to see is how angry you're going to get, how aggressive you're going to get. And they're just waiting to see how you handle the situation. But I promise you, you know, you're going to deal with the resistance. And, you know, 
let it come to you naturally. Don't cause anything. And then just handle it in the best way you can. You know, and it sounds cliche and it sounds easier said than done. And trust me, I understand. But as a black man, you should feel that you need to play that role into showing that it can be different because they're expecting something from you, you know. And then nowadays with everything going on, you know, it's like obvious. You know what I'm saying? It's obvious. So, you know, it's just best to, you know, handle the situation as best as possible. These times, as a black man, you're obligated to respond in a certain way. You know, aggressiveness and, you know, going down that route is necessary when it's necessary. But a lot of things can be avoided because, you know, it's like microscope on us. You know, well, it's like that whenever we go anywhere. But, you know, it's just these times. And, you know, you're obligated to respond in a better way to make them look at it in a different way. Because one thing as a black man that we need to understand also is that a lot of other people were taught things and might have not necessarily experienced anything with us, you know? We might not have friends, you know, things in that nature. So they just don't know. They're gonna go by what's in movies, family members telling them things, stuff like that. So in our generation, you know, in this generation, our generation, it's more or less of they don't know. You know, understand? And, you know, a lot of people are more open these days. So it's like if you respond differently, you know, you might get a different response from them and you might open their eyes because that's all it's about, opening their eyes because it's just, you know, the stuff and the pictures that's being painted through the years and generations of how things are supposed to be or going to be when it doesn't even have to be that way, you know. And I can tell you, you know, I come from the hood. I come from the bottom. I come from those situations. I've been homeless. I've dealt with abandonment. I had to get over demons to be able to even progress in life. You understand? So, you know, I'm not somebody that's just saying it because it sounds good and I don't understand. I didn't, and I, I never was there. I get it. You understand? And I know there's a lot of people that come from what I come from all those situations that are either scared or have a voice, feel like people are not gonna listen to them, because trust me, I understand. And it's like, you know, you gotta take it day by day and just, regardless of what's put in front of you, you gotta see the positive in it and intend, intend. Like, you don't know how strong intention is because with good intention, It'll take however it's supposed to take in divine order. You understand? Because it doesn't matter what anybody does. You understand? The universe and the higher power has a plan for you. Because, you know, we wrote it all out, you know, when we reincarnated and we're just fulfilling the role. Because this is a life experience. That's all it is. And it gets me. Well, now I'm gonna start off with giving you a little background on myself because I've questioned stuff since I can remember. You know, it goes back to being, I can remember what, 10, 11, where, you know, certain things didn't make sense, but, you know, you just go on with life and, you know, time goes on. And then, you know, what I've learned is that things that you go through, it prepares you for the next step. But the issue is, as I said, as a people, we don't know certain information. So it's like, you know, if you knew that whatever it is that you was going through, why you're going through it and the reason for it, because these are things that somebody has to tell you. You understand? You just can't figure this thing out on your own. You know, you could 
venture on in the world and take it day by day and figure out life. But if you don't have any guidance to where it is that you're going, you're just gonna, you know, go in circles, go in circles. Because I can sit here and tell you like, it's been times over my life where after I had to start over three to four times. And it's because I would get to a certain point in frequency and then I'll get knocked back down. Because when you get to a certain point, it becomes, it's an unknown plateau and it becomes funny. You get a lot of resistance, things you're not used to. But the thing about it is you have to be a different you once you get to these levels to be able to handle these situations in a better way. But the issue, as I said, is that nobody really schools you on these things and tells you that the purpose for these things is to set you up for what you're asking for. And sometimes a lot of people don't even know what they're asking for because, you know, it's not like you're having a conversation with somebody and then, you know, you, you're thinking about um, what it is that you want. You're not having that type of conversation, you know, if you're not. But it's more or less of, you know, we all have that desire, you know, whenever we sleep at night, you know, whenever we have that five seconds where we just stare into space and it's that daydream moment and you want that. The universe knows exactly what you want, but, you know, as a people, we don't know to trust the universe and just take care of what's going on day by day, you understand? Because trusting the universe is letting the universe align whatever needs to be aligned, but you have to put in the work too. But as I said, these are things that nobody really schools you on. Because if I would have knew a lot of this stuff when I started going through it, it would have been, I guess, a little bit easier emotionally dealing with it. Because what's supposed to happen is supposed to happen at a time. It's supposed to happen. So you never regret what's going on at the time. You just, you know, have to look back at it and learn from it. And that's the whole purpose of me making this channel because there's a lot of people that go through stuff that's questioning stuff that you know don't necessarily have people who will have an outlet to really you know guide them to what it is um and trust me i've been through the works you know i've been through homelessness you know betrayal heartbreak you know a whole bunch of list of emotions abandonment you know and there's a lot of things that I call demons that, um, you know, we carry with us in relationships through the day that if we don't get over, it alters and controls our day no matter how we wake up feeling. You understand? So, you know, it gets deep, but I'm all for my people and enlightening the people because it's just so much going on in this world nowadays. And... There's a lot of truths coming out too, but you know, there's a collective group of people called the light workers that you know were put on this earth at this time to enlighten the people and lead the people. So I'm going to close this video by sending. Peace, love, happiness, and balance to everybody because that's what it's about, you know? Um, for the viewers, you know, it's my first video, recording, editing, anything. I just, you know, see a lot of videos on the internet not going the right route and, you know, just putting people on and just educating them as far as, you know, as far as what you know. Because, you know, every day we learn and knowledge is infinite. So you never know enough. It's just about putting someone else on. And, you know, eventually they'll go on their own route and their own mission. Because just a lot of us question stuff. And instead of me, um, you know, pumping poison to my people, I'd rather enlighten them and let them know, you know, what's going on. You understand? Because, you know, we all have a purpose. We all have a mission. You know, I'm a light worker. 
and I'm here to enlighten my people. You understand? And not only my people, everybody I come across, you know, going down to the store, wherever I come across is to enlighten people, you know, greet people with, hey, how you doing? Just embrace the light and it will return to you. That's it. Peace, love, happiness, and balance.